Space Week is a curriculum program where all grade six students in Brevard County participate in science and engineering lessons and other activities before and after a very special study trip to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Did you know that the number of careers in the STEM fields, that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, continues to grow at a very high rate? It's a fact. To maintain our success, the U.S. must produce more students who choose STEM careers. It is our hope that the Space Week program and this video presentation will get more students interested, motivated, and inspired in STEM. Captain Orion is Herb Yamada, who has worked for Lockheed Martin as well as other engineering firms. Born in Japan, Herb has a Bachelor of Science degree from San Jose State University. He has worked over 30 years as a designer and test engineer for the cruise missile, Apache helicopter, and Trident missile programs. He has also flown on zero-G flights six times and serves as an interpreter for Japanese news media. We appreciate how Herb gives back to the community by being a part of Brevard Space Week and by helping us make this video presentation available to our students. In this first segment, Captain Orion introduces us to how air molecules and differential pressure can help a helicopter fly and how it can be used to knock the helicopter out of the air. Good morning, everyone. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited to be here because I get to go ahead and play with the air blaster. And we're going to be talking about my very favorite subject today, and it's called pressure differential. Does that sound so cool? Yeah. You know, all the stuff that you're feeling right now, it's just air molecules, right? You can't, you can't see air molecule, but you can certainly feel the effects of that air molecule. Well, what is that like, air molecule? You know, right in this room right now, we have billions and billions of air molecules floating out there. Too small for you to be able to see it, but you can certainly feel the effects of it. What is it like? Well, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like love, huh? Yeah, because you can't see love, right? But you can certainly feel the effects of love, can you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's kind of like that. But you know, right in this room, remember we said we have billions and bi billions of air molecules. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it's real. It's so small, but, but yeah, it is really real. And with that air molecule, we can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Like uh, pressure differentials. We can create differences in pressure so it can make us, make, uh, help us do work for us. You know, though, enough about talking about theory. Let's go ahead and demonstrate how we can make that work. I need two volunteers. Oh, cool. We have so many volunteers. Yeah, you can be one. Come on up. Yes. You're going to be my launcher. We need another one. You can be my other one. You're going to be my shooter. Ah, uh, yes. Special water that I'm going to be drinking, and we're going to be talking about this very special water in just a few moments. Okay, so you're gonna be my, you're gonna be my launcher. You're gonna be my shooter. Now, when I have this helicopter flying around, all you have to do is go ahead and put that helicopter right in that crosshair, pull this back, and boom! Oh, and shoot it right out of the sky. But don't shoot it out of the sky until I tell you to do so. Okay? Okay. Go ahead and hang on to that. Go ahead and take a couple practice shots. Yeah, cool. Okay. Now you're gonna be my launcher. So, okay, all I want you to do is go ahead and hang on to the middle of the helicopter just like this. And then when I tell you to let go, you need to let it go, okay? But don't let it go until I tell you to do so. Okay. It's going to be very important, though, when I tell you to let it go, that you let it go, because if you don't, it's going to pick you up and fly around this room. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that to happen, huh? <laughs> okay, go ahead and hang on to that. Yeah, remember, we're going to be talking about pressure differential. Pressure differential is really just a difference in pressure, right? There's going to be lots of difference between air molecules as well as all these other kinds of molecules out there like water molecules as well. And we're going to kind of have you feel the difference in that, what the difference is between air molecule and water molecule. Just like you guys felt the effects of that air molecule huh? as it hit your face. You guys in the front zone, you're going to be in my splash zone. 
Yeah, just like Shamu at SeaWorld. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're going to have you hold it right up here. You know, <coughs> as, we, as that helicopter blade goes around and around, yeah, soon as we activate that helicopter, you'll be collecting engineering data right away, right? You'll not only see that helicopter blade going around and around faster and faster, yeah, you'll be able to hear it as well, right? Yeah, so all this engineering data is what the pilot requires so that the pilot will be able to fly that helicopter. Okay, go ahead and hold it up here. This really is a miracle of micro technology. Micro meaning very, very small technology. And then we can go ahead and combine those technology to put two itty bitty motors in here that we can control via infrared with this remote control. So a lot of technology going into even making our toys out here. So now, okay, enough. Okay, we're going to go ahead. As we increase the RPM, you know, what we have is we, have, we create pressure differentials. <gasps> How do we create pressure differentials? Well, it's kind of it's like this. Is your arm getting tired? No, because, ah, oh, she has strong muscles in her arm. <laughs> Not a problem. Okay, pressure differentials. You know, when you look at the helicopter blade, well, when you look at the end of the helicopter blade, it kind of looks like this. Right, this is kind of the profile of that blade. And what happens is this. You know, I work for Lockheed Martin, and we have thousands of, of uh, employees. So what we did is we said, okay, what we need to do is actually be able to teach a lot of our employees the basics of aerodynamics. So we came up with a very special method. It's called learning aerodynamics in accordance with <gasps> Romeo and Juliet. Do you guys know all about Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. Remember, they were two starstruck lovers that was destined to be together forever and ever. Nothing can split them apart, except for the, maybe the blade of the helicopter. <laughs> right. So there's these two, two air molecules out there. Two air molecules, you know, they're so happy out there holding hands, you know, they're floating around in, in space. And then all of a sudden, the blade of the helicopter comes by and boom, it splits those two air molecules apart. <laughs> the Romeo air molecule goes on top of that helicopter blade. The Juliet air molecule goes on the bottom. Well, remember we said they're destined to be together for an ever, ever, and, and, ever, <laughs> ever. So <coughs> when they get split apart, well, Romeo air molecule has a much longer distance to travel than Juliet air molecule. And remember at the back end, the trailing edge of this blade, they have to be together because that's destiny, right? So now what happens is, well, Romeo has to run like crazy to be able to catch up with Juliet air molecule that, who has a very much, much shorter distance to travel. So Romeo air molecule is just running like crazy to catch up with Juliet air molecule. Well, when that happens, all of a sudden, we have what we call a low pressure area on top of the helicopter blade. When we have a low pressure area, oh, all of a sudden, we have a difference in pressure, and that's what we call pressure differential. Everything kind of gets sucked up into that low pressure area. It's kind of like over, you know, over the state of Florida, right? When we have a low pressure area over the state and we have a hurricane out there, it tends to suck that hurricane right into the state of Florida, and then really bad thing happens, right? We have to miss school. Oh, oh bummer, no bummer. And we hate to miss school, right? Because school is so cool. Right. Yeah, right. Oh, good answer. Yes. Okay. So that's what happens, huh? Pressure differential. And we'll be coming back to talking about pressure differential throughout, you know, this presentation. So just remember that. The bigger the difference in that pressure, the more work we can get out of, out of, out of something, like a machine. Like, you know, over the state of Florida, the, the lower the pressure, right, the more bad weather we can get. That's why when the weatherman talks about, yeah, that barometric pressure going down really steep, yeah, you better be ready for bad weather. Okay. So, enough about talking, are you getting tired now? No, you're doing good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and launch this helicopter. Remember, as the RPM, the revolution per minute, right, of that helicopter blade increases, we can create a bigger and bigger pressure differential. Okay, go ahead and hold it straight up here, just like that. Okay, and then when you let it go, right, all you have to do is open up your hand and say, fly, helicopter, fly. Right? Can you say that? Sure. Fly, helicopter, fly. Try it. Fly. Fly, fly helicopter, fly. <laughs> oh, you're doing good. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, go ahead and say it and let it go. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so can you all see all that pressure differential working over there, keeping that helicopter flying? Yeah, and that's how we're doing it. Now you guys can feel the, oh, the difference between air molecule <laughs> and, ah, oh, no. Yeah, the difference between air molecule and water molecule. You can actually see the water molecules, huh? <clears throat> okay, we can go ahead and control this. <gasps> Mr. Blaster. Mr. Blaster is going to be using differential pressure as well to be able to knock this helicopter out of the sky. Okay, Mr. Blaster, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, blast it. Oh! Very good shot. Yay, volunteers. Thank you, volunteers.